Salaki, the video stopped. All right, but um, yeah. So I was going in on the garlic. I'm sorry because I actually did the whole video, and the shit stopped. All right, so uh, just bear with me. Um, but yeah, man. So you know, the garlic talked about the different things that you can use. You know, cancer, common cold, things like that. Um. Okay. So let me go back. Let me go back up here. You know, but the Lord has given us those medicines out of the earth, man. So those are the things that we got to use. All right. It says, was not the water made sweet with wood that the virtue thereof might might not, might be known. Okay. So, uh, you know, even in the scriptures, the Lord had that happen uh, when, when we were in the wilderness. In Exodus 15. This is Exodus 15 and 20. I'll start at 22. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. And they went into the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. And when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Marah. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, what shall we drink? All right, you know, so Israel complaining again and shit. You know, what we going to do? Moses, we ain't got no water. What we going to do? You know, two thirds out there going crazy. And he cried unto Yahweh, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. All right, so the Lord got even trees out here, man, that uh, that can uh, do well by us, man. You know, just from, it, it can turn salt water into fresh water. It can turn, uh, you know, bitter waters or uh, d nasty waters into clean water. You know, the Lord got, got those things. And so I tried to look up, that type of tree, you know, in the uh, blue letter, it said, uh, like, I think it, it said cedar in there. So I think, I know cedar wood has a lot of, uh, you know, healing purposes and arom aromatherapeutics uh, purposes. Um, but I found this one. It's more like a branch, more so than a tree. But I thought it was interesting. It's called Moringa olifera, or the uh, drumstick tree. All right. It says, uh, it's in Northwest India and widely cultivated in tropical and subtropical areas where young seed pods and leaves are used as vegetables. It can also be used for water purification. All right. So you can put that in the water and purify your water, man. You know, and like I said, I might have mentioned this. But, you know, you got to go to your different farmers markets, man. And they got some of these different herbs, man. You know, you can find them because, of course, we can't easily access them. Like back in the ancient days where we can grow them outside. But, you know, sometimes you can find these plants. And Lord willing, you can grow your own, man. But if not, you know, find somebody who, who's in, into the herbs, man. One of, I, mean, I guarantee it's, it's, it's a lot of brothers out there who's into the healing, man. Who's into the herbs. All right. It says, and hand washing, it is sometimes used in herbal medicine. All right. So that's what that's used for, man. To purify, those, to purify that water. Okay. And he hath given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works, which doth, which such does he heal men and take away their pain, their pains. All right, so the healer, uh, you know, Yahweh Shah is the the healer. You know, he heals us. You know, he takes away our pains, man. The pains of the society, this burden of sin, this burden of flesh, this burden of Babylon. You know, but also the uh, the physical, the healer here, the healers and physicians here on earth can take away those physical ailments, right? Just like Yahweh Shah did when he was performing miracles. Okay, it says, Of such that the apoth apothecary make a confection. All right, so let's get that those terms real quick. Apothecary. A person who prepared and sold medicines and drugs. All right, so in the olden days, they had, uh, you know, men who were, men and women who will make the different drugs and put them together and they might sell it. You know, they come to your house and take care of you, things like that, you know. And the confection, a dish or delicacy made with sweet ingredients, the action of mixing or compounding something. All right. So, you know, they used to, you know, you see like they get the leaves, different leaves and herbs. They mix them up, stir them up, might put them in a tea, might make them in a spread or a powder, you know, and they can heal you, man. Okay. But Esau has took that to another level. And it says of its works, there is no end. All right. And from his him is peace all over the earth. All right. So ultimately, we all know that Yahweh Shai uh, is that that peace all over the earth for his uh, his putting together these scriptures for the children of Israel. You know, his works, there is no end. But like I said, on a physical level, 
on the right hand side, you got physicians and men of the Lord who got those healings, those healing traits and big into the herbs. But you also got the left hand side of his works on the end of Esau, man. You know, I got this picture, you know, these pictures. Look at this, man. All these damn pills. Look at that East Edomite uh, lady hand, man. All these damn pills that Esau pushes out. Different colors and shit. Don't look like no herbs. This shit's not natural, man. Anything that Esau, the so-called white man, touches, this shit happens. You know? These damn drugs, man. Killing people left and right. You know? This shit is not good for you. Look at that. Trump fucking ecstasy pill. Trump-shaped ecstasy pill. These pills will kill you. You know what I'm saying? They, they, it's just like cigarettes. They put them shits on the Surgeon General box. You know? And uh, and it's, it literally says that the Surgeon General, the person who mainly tell you about hell, telling you not to smoke that shit. And people still smoke them. You know? And I, I, I mentioned earlier, I don't know if I said on a video, but also, you know, marijuana. Marijuana is an herb out of the earth, man. As, gen as mentioned in Genesis uh, 1 and 6 and Genesis 1 and 30, man. You know? But it says let that... Let that uh, meat, let it be for meat. So we gotta eat it. It's all right to make cakes and brownies and things like that, but let it be for meat. You're not supposed to smoke it, man. You know that smoking it uh it tars your body and it destroys your body. If I, I if I went over this already, Salakia, because I told you I'm trying to recap. Um, all right, lungs after marijuana smoke. Look at this. Marijuana. Black. That's from smoking that shit, man. More than tobacco. You know, look at all this. Dark, dried out lungs. Destroying themselves. Smoking that shit, man. Salakia. Ain't nothing wrong with eating it. It won't do this shit to you. You know? It, it, the nigga woman. Smoking that shit, man. Destroying your body. You know, and they, they tell you to smoke. They tell you to t pop these pills. They tell you to look at all these damn drugs and these titles at the top. Oxycodone, uh, birth control, hydrocodone, tramadol, uh, narcotic, Vicodin, Ritalin, Adderall. All these different names and shit that they created that just cause co more confusion. You know, so these, this is the apothecary on the left-hand side, man. You know, destroying our people. And so... So, Lockie, let me check the video time, if I can. Seven minutes. Come. Kind of. You know? They, on our on the left-hand side, you know, this they do. They push this shit out to our people, uh, you know, with all these different uh, abominations. Look at this fat motherfucker right here. That big-ass burger, man. Can't even bite that shit. Bigger, bigger than his fucking head, and he trying to eat that. Baked pig. Look at Esau. I mean, Ephraim ass. Eating a damn pork, eating shrimp, crab, and they think that shit is delicacies. Look at this fat bra right here. And like I was saying, man, I'm a big fella too. You know, but I, I don't eat unclean foods. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat no no meat, man, because Esau be defiling shit, man. You know, even the vegetables. But I'm going to try the best as I can in this corruptible body to uh, do as I can, man. And I work out, you know what I'm saying? These motherfucking Jakes don't do none of this shit, man. They just eat all this bullshit and, and let Esau pay you all this money for it, man. Abominations. Re, uh, Leviticus 11 will break these down. I'm, I'm not going to get into them. Leviticus 11 and 7 through 10. You know, it tells you not to eat the swine. And it tells you uh, if, it's, if it comes out of the water, it got to have fins and scales, man. You know, so all these different foods. The Lord, well, once again, the Lord wasn't doing this to be mean. The Lord said don't eat this shit because they are bottom feeders. They literally clean the earth, the trash, the shit out of the earth. That's why he told us not to eat this stuff, man. You know, 